a video on making a vegetable stock from um, scraps of vegetables that we've got kicking about that we'd normally throw put onto the compost but we can actually turn them into a stock it's not a brilliant stock um, you're not going to get loads of flavor from this stock but you are going to get some and it's kind of a something for nothing um, so you can use it as a base uh, for soups and stews and that type of thing uh, so it's something for nothing uh, which ticks all the boxes in my eyes so uh, we've done a bit of cooking over the last couple of days so I've, I've saved the vegetables uh, we have got some carrot peelings as long as the carrots are washed carrot peelings are fine so we've also got the the ends of the carrot as well um, not the root end no because carrot is a root but not the t I'll, I'll, hang on so the bottom of the carrot that bit can go in that's not going to go in because there's dirt in there we don't want that in the stock so we've got some carrot peelings we've got some leek trimmings as well so this is uh, the tops the tops of the leeks that are a bit scratchy and the bottom of the leek as well so that was the root of the leek as well so that's going to go in and some bits of the part of the inside that was, was they're going to go in so they've all been chopped we don't have to chop them too much and then uh, we were faffing around with courgettes i wouldn't normally put courgettes in uh, but we've got the inside of the courgettes they're not really suitable for anything uh, although i made soup out of them they're very nice but they can go in so they can get chopped up like that and then i've got some stalks they're like bits of onion trimmings as well they can go in and then we've got i was doing puffing around with uh, a dish with carrots so we've got the trimmings from the carrots i was doing a uh, julienne of carrots so we've got the trimmings for those so we're going to chop everything up and then we're going to cover it with water and we're going to put a lid on because we don't have to worry about this uh, normally you don't uh, cook stocks with a lid on because it tends to be cloudy it's going to be a cloudy stock anyway so it doesn't really matter uh, this one and it's going to quick it's going to speed up the cooking process so we're going to cover it with water we're going to bring it up to the boil we're going to put a lid on or we're going to put a lid on bring it up to the boil cook it to layer everything's nice and tender and then we're going to puree it and we're going to put it through a uh, couple of layers of muslin cloth so you don't have to be because we're going to puree everything up uh, it doesn't have to be chopped. It doesn't have to be chopped up too small. It just means that the, the smaller you cook things, the um, quicker things cook. So this is the stalk from the broccoli, which is fine as well. There's not much juice to it, even though I have turned it into a soup in the past. Uh, it's a bit woody on the outside, but there's loads of flavour. So it is flavour. That's a good thing. I'm, I'm, I haven't got any onions that need using up. So otherwise, I might if I've got some onions that will get a bit ropey, uh, that are a little bit past the best. I put some onions in, but we, all the onions are good at the moment, so there's no need to uh, waste an onion. And I'm certainly not gonna. This is just trimmings of vegetables, so I wouldn't buy carrots especially especially to make a carrot stock. These are just the trimmings of things. Uh, so it's not like a making proper vegetable stock where you buy all these things. These are things that are uh, that I would normally put on the compost. Uh, that we're going to turn into something else and then we're actually still the pulp that's left over after we've made the stock we're still going to put that on the compost um, so we're just going to extract the flavor out of it beforehand so i should have weighed how much vegetables that was damn that'll teach me so that's one more so we'll put in two liters of water i'll tell you what we'll do there's a little bit of weight a pound that's exactly the same size I've got two pounds the same uh, it's always useful to have those kind of things so what we can do is we can weigh the pan so the pan is and tear it off on the weighing scales and then we know there's a two liters of water in there so that's going to weigh two kilograms and then we'll know yeah right so that's that's 2.631 kilos so we know that there's about six 630 grams worth of vegetables in there. Uh, obviously, some of the vegetables weigh more, so uh, these courgettes don't particularly weigh much. The inside of the courgettes don't weigh much, um, so we but we uh, so they're not going to weigh as much as uh, the carrots. So, like that volume of that amount of carrot, if that was carrot, that kind of square volume of carrot uh, would weigh more than uh, that square volume of courgette. 
um, because that's just mostly kind of like just pappy stuff. But anyway, so lid on, okay. we'll bring it up to the boil, we'll cook until tender, and then we'll puree, and then uh, we'll come back when that's done. You don't need to see that boiling, it's quite boring. Um, but anyway, this is going to be something from nothing uh, and a little bit of flavour. Uh, so if you and uh, yeah, so if you want to then cook vegetables in this vegetable stock, uh, vegetables for your Sunday dinner, that would be very good. Or if you wanted to use it for a basis of gravy or soup or, or stews or casseroles or anything like that, uh, this would be really good. Yeah, so bring up to the boil, slowly simmer till everything's nice and tender. And then we're going to puree it and put it through a uh, muslin cloth and let it hang overnight so we get as much juice out and flavour as possible. Yeah, so this is what I mean by slow simmer. It, the temperature's been turned down, put the scout in, and then we'll put the lid on. We don't need to worry about it uh, clouding uh, because of what we're going to use it for. I mean, if you want to do it. Now, it's going to, it's going to, be cl it's going to become cloudy. Through the pureeing and the push pushing through a muslin cloth, it's going to be cloudy. So we might as well have a lid on and save some of that liquid evaporating and save down and because we've got a lid on as well it'll cook quicker so we're saving a little bit of power as well which is important you know these little things all matter so there we go we'll cook until tender then we'll puree and we'll be back right the vegetables are cooked and i have tasted the stock and there is not much flavor there however we can do things to improve that so we're going to puree it <coughs> oh we need to turn the heat off first we're going to puree it and then we're going to put it through i was in cloth and we're going to let it drain overnight and then we'll squeeze out the mo got wires everywhere uh, yeah so we'll do this over here yeah that's fine so we're going to puree it they need to be nice and soft because it needs to puree down uh, as much as possible by puring it we're going to extract as much flavor as possible into the liquid the stock ish <laughs> So the more liquid that there is in it uh, means that there's going to be less flavour in the stock. But it needs to be uh, puree pureable, uh, if that's a word. So now it's just a simple case of taking the stock and putting it through the muslin cloth and let it drain overnight. Uh, the vegetable pulp will be left behind in the muslin cloth and the liquid will pass through and we're left with a stock. That won't be brilliant in flavour, won't have as much flavour as a stock cube, but it's something from nothing, which is a good thing. And I, don't know, I suppose the, the cooked vegetables that are left, the pulp, uh, you can feed that. If you had a dog, you can feed it to the dog. The dog, the dog would love you. Mind you, dogs just love you anyway, don't they? Let's be honest. So, we'll do this. We've got enough out of it there, so we'll pour the rest through. It's just a double, it's actually a quadruple layer of muslin. But it's passing through, the, the water's passing through now. So that, you, as you can see, it's kind of quite cloudy. Well, you can't really see because there's lots of steam. So it was, it's kind of quite, it's quite, um, because we peeled it up, it's gone cloudy anyway. So there's, there was no point actually putting a, uh, leaving the lid off. You might, so that's why I left the lid on. Um, but we'll let that go through. And we'll pour some more stock through it and then we'll hang it up overnight we'll make a little bag out of it i'll show you so we'll draw all the corners together like so like that make a little bag tie it with a bit of string around there and then we'll hold it up overnight and what that'll do is that'll allow all the liquid to drain out you can hear it you can hear the liquid draining out but we'll tie it up somewhere and then we'll get as much liquid out as, as possible 
So that's that. You don't need to see any more. The next thing you see will be tomorrow morning uh, when it's been left to dry overnight. Um, we don't need to worry too much about it. Um, uh, with, a, with a meat stock, you need to cool things down quickly because um, anything that's kind of lukewarmy um, is going and has got meat in it, it's going to go off quickly and you're going to get a bacterial growth quite quickly. Vegetables are a little bit different and a little bit more forgiving. And if anything, they're gonna, or if anything, they're gonna ferment and turn into alcohol, <laughs> uh, which is always fun. But anyway, so we'll do this, pour this, uh, we'll let it drain through, and then we'll tie it up into a bag, and then we'll tie it up overnight, and then we'll be left with a stock that we can do stuff with. Our stock has been draining overnight. Uh, so this was the um, bag that I put the, uh, that I strained the vegetables through. And I've given it a squeeze a few times just to get as much liquid out as possible. So it's just the more liquid you squeeze out of it, the more flavour uh, you're going to extract from the vegetables. So just give it a squeeze. And you can hear it. A little bit. And then you can just mush that around. Uh, that's going to want to fall out. We don't want that falling out into the stock. And give it another squeeze and then... I don't think I want it to do much more than that. It starts getting a bit ridiculous. So then we'll open up the bag and then come out and have a look inside and see what's kind of left. So you just end up with that really, which is fine to feed for the to the dog. Um, or you can go on the compost uh, now it's you know you've got all the flavor out the vegetables into the stock so it's fine so uh, i've got a spoon to taste to have. so keep it it'll keep a few days in the fridge freezes really well um, but it's just a way of cutting down even uh, less waste and getting something free so it's not bags of flavor in there. Obviously, the less water you use, uh, the more intense flavor of stock that you get. Um, I potentially, uh, thinking about it, I would have used less water. Um, but the courgettes, uh, because they're mostly kind of water, it's it's kind of a little bit uh, difficult to kind of, kind of quite judge. Uh, root, more root vegetables like carrots, um, butternut, uh, that, uh, trimmings from the butternut, um, would have uh, made a, a more intense stock uh, because of the water content but there you go it's it's for nothing really apart from the cost of um, heating it and cooking it um, but you get uh, a nice uh, vegetable stock which I'm going to use to make some soup this afternoon for my sister because we can go out and meet people again outside uh, which is a good thing